Hi, this is Jonathan. How you guys doing? Today I'm gonna feature this guitar. This is the uh, Fender Telecaster Thinline 60th Anniversary. So this guitar does not belong to me, it belongs to my friend Sean. Uh, I think he bought this guitar years ago, uh, used. Uh, and this is this guitar was made in 2011 as part of uh, Fender's Talibration uh, for its 60th anniversary. The guitar is of course a thin line uh, model with a tortoise uh, shell, a tortoise shell uh, pickguard. 
and it features the American Telecaster standard pickups with the bent steel saddles. Um, has a maple neck and a maple fretboard. Of course, the uh, the front is uh, urethane uh, gloss finish and the back is a urethane satin finish. Synthetic bone nut, alright, synthetic bone nut and a covered tuners, standard tuners with a string tree. Um, the unique part about this guitar is that the, the, the tone control features a no load uh, control when it's all the way up, meaning uh, whatever the guitar uh, pickups are picking up, it will translate directly to the output jack. Uh, some purists uh, swear by this, uh, you know, saying that, that the tone will be the natural tone from the pickguard, very from the pickups. It features a, a nice wooden binding, uh, stripe, double stripe, which is pretty pretty cool, and features of course the, um, the logo here, the, the, uh, the neck plate, uh, which states the year this guitar was made, 2011, and of course this is done to celebrate the 60th anniversary of Fender. And uh, black dot uh, inlays for your fret, your fretboard. And apart from that, um, yeah, that's about it. Guitar weighs in about 3.1 kg, so it's pretty light because it's chambered, I believe. Um, features a C contour neck with a skunk stripe behind. And, uh, other than that, it's just your basic uh, uh, thin line tally. So, how does it play? Um, this guitar features a uh, 9.5 uh, fret radius, which for me, I. Not, I'm not having a serious problem with it, but you know, it takes a little bit of getting used to because I'm so used to 7.25 uh, fret radius. I guess it's good for like, you know, up here where you are playing chords and stuff like that. You know, it makes it a little bit easier. But um, your hands need to be uh, used to the flatter radius. If you're not used to it, then you know, you're gonna have a bit of a uh, a bit of a struggle, but I think you'll get used to it because I got used to it after a while. The thing about this guitar is that I don't have the required sustain uh, from the pickups that I'm used to, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm actually uh, have to like you know uh, compensate uh, the lack of sustain um, through the amp settings and through the compressors and whatnot. You know. um, I guess this guitar is really good for twangy stuff, jangy stuff. You know, but if you want that that whole tone uh, Telecaster thing that uh, that uh, some of you are used to, like me, you know, we can actually play solos and then real nice sustain. Uh, and then this guitar will be a little bit lacking. I guess this guitar is good for rhythm work, you know, and some lines here and there. I think you can get away with sounding, uh, especially for the first pickup, you know, and the, you know the. the between the neck and the bridge, you know, in the combination, it's pretty nice. But the bridge picker is a bit like, in my opinion. You know. So I don't know, some of you might have the same guitar, what do you think? Do you, do you have the same problem, or, or is your guitar uh, ringing true, sustains well? You know, let me know. So I thought uh, you will enjoy this little peek into this guitar, which is, of course, a limited run, so it's kind of a rare oddity in sorts, you know. Um, the thing about uh, the finish, this is like a natural finish, and most of the uh, uh, thin line uh, Telecaster from the 60th anniversary models are Olympic white. So I got a bit confused when I was researching this guitar because I thought this guitar was one of the Lampu uh, uh, versions. You know, Fender came out. Fender came out with this Lampu, which features bamboo veneer for the guitars. You know. I thought it was a, this was this was one of the Lampo series, but on close inspection, it's not. Uh, I forgot to state that the body is ash, right? The body is made of ash, so this I think would uh, qualify as a natural color, natural finish, not the blonde. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up and uh, press that bell if you want to be notified of any future videos that comes out. Uh, join the channel, you know, and uh, to your next video. I'll see you around. Take care. Ciao.